people always ask uh, where do I bleed the cooling system or how to bleed the cooling system after opening up the cooling system. Well, for the most part, the cooling system is self-bleeding. Here's the return hose and there's a splice here so it collects air from over here and it collects air from over here and then it usually push, pushes the air back into the reservoir. So what, and what I like to do is I always like to pump the radiator hoses. I just pump them like this and that basically causes a siphoning effect uh, to start. So what you do is you just fill up the reservoir and you'll hear it gurgling as you're filling it and that gurgling is a, is a sign of air escaping. I can't do this one handed here. I'm gonna try using my cell phone right now. It's not working too good here. I just want to fill it so you guys can hear the siphoning. So you can see the fluid level is going down and uh, obviously air would have to come out of the engine so that the coolant can go in. Here you can hear the gurgle. You can see. So it's gurgling, which means air is coming out of the engine and the fluid level is dropping. If you don't hear that gurgling sound, then you have a blockage somewhere. And then, once the fluid stops dropping, you just squeeze the hose and you can hear the air. And you just keep topping, keep topping up until it no longer drops. And once it no longer drops, that's when you start the vehicle. I always like to go a little bit higher than full. You see it's still gurgling. I always like to go a little bit higher than full because as the coolant cool, when the coolant cools after running it and after the thermostat has opened um, and the engine cools off, cools down, the coolant will contract and it might drop a little more. So that's pretty much it. Should be real straightforward. It doesn't matter what engine, there usually is a bleed rail that goes back to the reservoir.